The Trinidad and Tobago Taxi Drivers Association met on Wednesday in Chaguanas to highlight their disgust with the proposal to legalize PH taxi drivers. Chaguanas QREP Taxi Association President Kurt Smart admits that while PH drivers make a valuable contribution to public transportation, government must be careful. They have assisted in some way, all right, and in some way it has affected the public. Wherein we have acquaintances of mine who are PH drivers and they, they, this is their job. And there are other people who pretend to be PA drivers and they're actually criminal elements in society that has created problems. Richard Vaughan, head of the Belmont Taxi Drivers Association, says there is a genuine concern that some PH taxi drivers are involved in criminal activity. But he is also concerned that it may be hard for many of them to conform to rules and regulations. They pull up anyhow, anywhere. They don't care about the, the taxi drivers. As my colleague was saying, they pull up on the stand and they oppose you. This is one of my concerns. The taxi drivers are calling on Works and Transport Minister Jack Warner to meet with them, but they complain that he is yet to even acknowledge a letter sent to him on August 22nd. They, however, remain resolute that PH taxi drivers should not be legalized. Legalizing PH really makes absolutely no sense. They have been here for so many years, and now that we are deeming them illegal, right, create a lot of questions. For CNC3, I'm Melissa Williams.